This is my puppy Jackson. He is a stud muffin on our shelf. <laughs> How cute. I asked him if he wanted to go up there, and he got so happy. So I gave him his bone, and now he's super duper happy. He's super duper happy. <laughs> and there's his brother. Oops, sorry, I got my hand in the way. Hello, Sky Babies. Hello, Sky Babies. <laughs> yeah, now you want to go in there too, huh? He's like, what is this, Mom? What is this stuff? What is this stuff? Yeah, it's going to be on our wall soon. We just wanted to do a quick video today and say hello. It's such a beautiful day. I mean, it is truly stunning. I wish the mountains were clear. Um, for you guys to see, but unfortunately, they're a little yucky today. But look at this. Truly amazing day. Amazing, amazing day. Uh, we went on our walk this morning, and oh my god, all the trees were in bloom, and I was so bummed that I didn't have my phone with me to take a picture of that cherry blossom tree that I just shared with you guys on Instagram. Oh my god. The leaves turned completely maroon. They're not green anymore, they're maroon. And the whole tree looks so different. I mean, that tree went from like no leaves at all to those pretty flowers. And then, and green leaves by the way. And, and only in what, just a couple days that I took that picture? All the leaves, almost all of them, turned almost the color of my shelf, actually. <laughs> kind of funny, but it really is. And it changed the whole color of the tree. So hopefully it's like that uh, tomorrow. And I will take my phone and definitely do some pictures for you guys to share again. But anyways, we hope you're all doing really, really well. Unfortunately, I had some problems with my mom yesterday. And we had a bad day. And she was supposed to be here. To spend the day with me and the kids, but things didn't work out that way, and it's sad, but it is, you know, it happens, right? Uh, so, I wish you the best, Mom. I love you always. Uh, it breaks my heart that we can't get it together, but God's out there watching. Hopefully, things will work out. Anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys this kid, because look at this kid. Look at this kid. Look at this kid right here. Who is this kid right here? Who is this little boy? And every time I take a step in the bus, he barks for me. And he wants me back out here. I have not been able to sit down since I took him out. I'll go inside. Hospitality, luxurious rooms, and delicious local seasonal food. Originally dating back to the early 1800s, New Forge House has received numerous awards down through the years for its outstanding features and hospitality. From best hotel restaurant in Ulster over three That's years, every to the single time, <laughs> every time I cannot be in here for a for minute. To enjoy. And I can't wait to share something else with you guys that I picked up last night, actually on the curb down the street. I've always picked up the best furniture on this street. In all the years that I lived here, uh, a lot of the furniture in my apartment came from this block. Uh, because of the neighborhood, you get a lot of people that, uh, you know, just have nice furniture, you know. And so um, I'm an antique person. I love antiques. And even the wood that I'm working on here um, is redwood. And so super old. I mentioned that it was from North Hollywood Church, I think is what it's stamped on the back. But, um, yeah, so it came from the church, so it's been in the church for probably many, 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 many years. Um, it was very, very dry. And I, um, um, I was told by my friend Rick that with redwood you don't have to seal it um, because it's just one of those woods that you don't really have to do anything with. But I found that um, it was so dry that it was just cracking away even after sanding. 
So um, I did put a nice stain on it. That's what he was saying is you don't have to stain it either or seal it. But I did both and now I can totally go anywhere on the wood without having any cracks or problems even with all the holes. Um, I intentionally left. Well, you're not going to see that side anyways. This is the front. But you'll see here uh, dings and this is probably from the hammer. Uh, yeah, I might have done that myself trying to break it away from the shelf. I don't know. But yeah, there's things all over it. <clears throat> like even the holes in the front. I'll try to utilize those when I nail it into the front of the, the shelf. But yeah, anyway, so what I was saying is, is that I found I've been dying for drawers. Drawers. Like, uh, I haven't showed you guys my dresser that I picked up off of Craigslist yet, but I will. It still needs to be worked on. And then that'll go into this place here. Once it's finished, I'm still, I just did insulation in this wall and the lower part of this wall. Now I got to do the lining, the siding, and then I'm going to be hanging my medicine cabinet, which is right there, ready and waiting. Look at my shower. That's all my construction stuff. But anyways, this is what I found. Look at this. Oh my god, it's like it was meant to be mine, I swear to god. And the crazy thing is, is I thought it was just wicker, but it's actually wood. Solid, real wood. Not garbage wood from Ikea or crap. This is solid wood. Got a little crack here, I better put some Gorilla Glue on. But yeah, super happy. Oh my god, I immediately put it here last night. And it was like it was meant to be here the whole time. All that stuff was on my bed on the red chair. It's right there. And it was just closing me in. Just like all this stuff that needs to be moved. So, yeah, anyways. And I got a drone. So, pretty soon we're going to be doing some drone shots for you guys. I'm still learning how to use it. And I haven't even downloaded the app yet to do that. But... Slowly, it's coming together. Should have probably give you a little. It's just so dirty that I hate even sharing it. But I have been working on actually cleaning, not just construction. Bugsy, make funny. I need your light on, baby. You need the sun. You need to open your window, huh? Your brother is just hollering at me. These are something I wanted to share with you, too. I found this across the street, and it was broken in two pieces. And I actually got a dowel and stuck it through the holes from the sides and cleaned it up real nice. Came out perfect. My senior cats are loving it and taking full advantage of it. And it's just been great. So, what, cutie? So we better go because we might run out of space even though I deleted or took off 300 pictures. Oh, really? Are you telling me about it? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Is that your bone right there? It is. It is. So I should mention that we are still taking in donations, guys. We're really, really desperate for donations to pay for his weekly draining. He is bloated a bit, but he's doing great, as you can tell. But I do have to take him in on Tuesday and have him drained again. And it's $95 until our angels completely get rid of this fluid altogether and that's what we are praying for so if you guys would like to join us in prayer and miracle we, we're not looking for a temporary fix we are looking to have his the valve in his heart that leads to his heart sealed the hole he has a leaky valve so we're asking that our angels and our spirit guides hello um, our angels and our spirit guides help us in prayer and have them seal up this hole once and for all so that he is no longer taking on fluids and that he regulates his heart, that they regulate his heartbeat too. Um, he's been breathing pretty good, as you can tell. He's out here barking up a storm and doing pretty good. So as long as he's doing great, I want to be able to be there for him. And, you know, financially, I could really use the help, as I'm sure you can imagine. It's extremely expensive. And I'm already kind of strapped right now. I'm taking money from friends and family 
for donations or even just food. So we would definitely uh, be very grateful for any donations. We're asking that you send it through PayPal. Um, that's C Marshall M A R S H A L L seven 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 at Roadrunner dot com. And you'll see that it says Dreamcatcher Gifts. That's actually my website. I have not utilized in a while, but um, I'm going to start doing that. And we're going to start selling our retail items as well to help pay for him and stuff. So we'll be sharing that um, information with you as soon as I get the website updated. i got to contact the e-commerce company and update the website, learn how to use it again. And then I will definitely be sharing with you guys that information so you can maybe take a look at our website and find something really nice and that would also help us with making some money for my kids and for us so we wish you well and thanks for watching and look who's pulling up right now who's that who's that is that your buddy right there there's rick there's your buddy okay so there's our friend rick He's obviously out for a nice ride today on this beautiful day. Jack's his buddy. He just loves him to pieces. So, Anyways, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. And please leave us a comment down below. Say hi. Let us know that you're there. It's, it's really nice because I get people saying, hey, I've seen your video. But, you know, we never know that uh, because they don't leave a comment to let us know. So it would be really nice to read something from you guys, even if it's just some support uh, for Jax or whatever, you know. All right, we love you. God bless you. Bye.